Hi, my name is Carlos Coronado. I'm a game developer, and in this tutorial, and I'm actually going to show you and I'll take apart how this beach from Infernium, which is based in Macarayeta Beach or in Menorca, has been built. So, yeah, Infernium has already been released for Switch, PS4, and Steam. And how can it be possible that we get like 30 F FPS, 7? 20p on switch on this scene well because it's actually really 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 simple so the only thing i have not made in this scene are those rocks which are photogrammetry rocks that i bought from the marketplace um, from a guy who work in assassin's creed black flag so yeah i will link the rock pack in the description and so if you can use it you can use you can the only thing i did i changed the shader it was too complicated for me i just wanted the macro color map and a little detail normal map and texture which is from when you get close but uh, yeah as you can see this is the macro and this is the micro so yeah that's the only thing i actually did to those rocks and another interesting thing is that the rocks in the in the background are not actually these rocks there are these are actually photographs of the real place in menorca that i take and what i actually did was, was put a really 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 ugly ugly looking shape here geometry in that texture and that's it as you can see it has nothing to it it's like like these rocks here are actually Really, really, really ugly geometry, but the player is never going to see it from this angle. So, from here it looks, I think, fantastic. Well, the trees, obviously, plot twist. They are not really trees. They are, yep, photograph of trees, and they work quite nice. And the only thing special I they have is I try to put every single one of the trees, which is just a plane with a texture, in parts where I can generate generate a lot of. Um, silhouette like for example in the cliff in the background if I grab this tree here and I move it here eh, now it's not interesting but in the other part boom now it's generating an interesting shape and as you can see I always try to put the trees in ways that they generate interesting shapes or hide play uh, mm, that the texture is playing like this tree here hiding this area or this one hiding this area or this one actually hiding, hiding this area so why because look this is how the environment looks with trees and this is how it looks without trees it's really 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 plain and you can really notice that the geometry is shit here so aside from that one of the interesting features of the environment is that the grass is not actually being lit so the grass is actually two shaders a grass with only shell that is like being faking it's it's fake it's actually like faking that it's being lit from the sunlight and another one which is fa uh, also fake which is a darker unlit shadow for the shadowy areas aside from the grass we have the plain right and some like cloud looking thing misty things for the faraway plain as you can see these are different planes i don't want to spoil you this area but why can't the player go here of course in the water there's a wall but why can't the player go here well i don't want to spoil you the ending of the game but if you want to know look, look for yourself so this, this is really simple that's just a plane with some scrolling really 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 slow scrolling texture and i just kind of put it here you cannot really see this it doesn't even have a death fate in the opacity because it's actually generating silhouette and cost and contrast which is really really cool and exactly what i wanted couple of trees here and there it doesn't even have a sun yeah that's not interesting yet. where is the sun look at the shadow where's the sun there is no sun <laughs> the sun rates but there is no sun uh, that's how much we're optimizing aside from that I'm using a like a satellite mm, image of the area to for the background and it's actually adding up of 
the uh, making some micro color for the floor that you can really see here it's, it's pointless from here but if I go out you can really see that it has some interesting detail that you can barely see from here but it it's another feature aside from that the water has various colors as you can see also in the top see how there's some ver uh, various uh, kinds of watercolor so when I see it from here it has actually good and nice watercolor variation I always try to blend the horizon with the water and it has a really really mystic effect as you can see here and now for the dirty things so for example in the entrance of this cave it's literally two separate geometries that I literally just ha hide with some rocks and some vegetation so you don't even realize so let me take this effect out so this is how it looks it's really shitty but if we go to lit you won't even notice it's there and that's the only reason this grass and these rocks exist to hide that effect that it's actually go happening here right here I don't know if you can see it but there's the line Another cool feature of this environment is this kind of smaller ro uh, grass It's not actually a different grass from this one This is just the same grass but <laughs> Yeah, with some Unreal has a really cool parameter when you are using vegetation Which is the... Um, mm, 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 what it is... C offset Should be this one, yeah, this one as you can see it has some C offset And if I paint it Oops, I'm painting everything If I paint this one As you can see Oops Why? Maybe I changed it? Let's put like Ah, I'm painting also this one Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't change it But as you can see If I use like 60 I have the same effect of you know just the, sp the spikes of the of the grass, and if I don't put nothing here when I paint, it's like ugly grass that doesn't really blends well with the environment here. I always try to work with fallows, like if you can see everything is a fallow, the fallow of, of the grass and how the grass like slowly gains and try to gain uh, space in the beach, but. I don't really put grass over here or, or hold the rocks if there's a big rock here I try to put these small rocks next to them and these ones here kind to blend to blend the shape together but there are not really rocks in the middle of the of the of the beach that's why I don't really like to scatter meshes because why not I just like to think rationally and how nature and the the erosion of the sand and the wind and the water will would, would behave and that's why there are only rocks at the side I was I always na like to work at certain angles so while building this particular scene I put the camera in three particular angles which are this one it has to be really cool from this angle also this one in the shadow it really had to be good looking from here in the shadow this one where you cannot really see what's passed behind this point and once you walk a little bit more boom, you see how this environment kind of appeared in, in our eyes you can see nothing boom in just a couple of meters how you, uh, all this big expansive infinite environment kind of unveils to you this rock here in this rock here is also done to to guide the player towards here towards the center and aside from that the water the, which the water has three really cool features so the first feature is actually that this water has waves as you can see in the wave frame uh, well you can't really see because it's on uh, let's see if I can select the water no I can't why but as you can see there's like this weird uh, 
wireframe moving that's why the water has actually waves but because waves are so expensive and the geometry needs to be really 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 dense I have actually two waters and the water here has no wave whatsoever it's just plain and here you can see the blending between the two waters the one that is moving and then one that is not moving that's also why when you are here you cannot really see the the two waters kind of acting together but imagine all this water right with the tessellation of this one it was just be like too much too much and the other nice feature is actually the shore so we have some small and tiny and beautiful waves going out here and I am cheating yeah I'm a cheating bastard so these ones are not actually <laughs> a shadow of this so this is as this one is actually separated as you can see this one is another model I'm just going to copy so you can see what's happening here oh where did it go so what's actually happening is just a texture scrolling down and then fading and another one scrolling up we, and with a sinus I control the position and then fading and perpetual and it has some distortion to simulate you know the foamy short but it's so simple it's an literally an unlit texture and if I actually let me show you the shader it's so simple it's literally this is for the distortion don't take a look at that but yeah this is the shader if you want to pause the video and you want to stall it from me feel free to do so why we have two groups we have two groups because when one of these is actually in the bottom another one jumps into the the top and they like alternate between each other so you have to imagine uh, the sine wave and the cosine wave how, how they interwing with each other and there's not really much to it the water shader is actually super simple it's a surface sh shader uh, so it can actually have shadows projected into the shader so it, here it's translucent and here isolated surface forward shading and it's not really complicated this is all the waves and the world of set of the waves and this is the rest of of the shader that I don't want to really show it to you into detail but it's really really super simple like some normal maps on water color variation and the, the macro color and that's it the, the fade for the for the water blending in the shore and that's it it's not really complicated and now we can get into the cave and it's actually super simple like this is clearly using a a Fresnel or a Fresnel, I'm not sure how that's spelled for this kind of backlighting effect over here this is a normal vertex paint that you can see in my previous tutorial and this has just a nice cool lighting effect and as, and as I see previously when I work in this scene I work from this point of view so I was trying to everything looks cool from here and yeah it's just a model with a texture that tiles that has a lot of horizontal lines and that's why you get, get this kind of antelope canyon kind of you know erosion made shape the darker and yeah this is just a material with bloom another kind of no noise material with a couple of of maps and yeah that's it there's not really much into it this kind of floating lights this is actually cheating because these are not particles these are actually planes <laughs> and say oh my god but the the translucency the shadow complexity yeah you're right things really start to add up but guess what there's not really more going on in this scene so it doesn't really matter the shadow complexity here as you can see here it's so much better than in there so yeah that's how the beach scene was composed are done in broad strokes 
it doesn't really have nothing complicated like the trees are 2d and of course I don't never put a tree here why because if I put the tree here oh, the player first will notice that the trunk is here and if I put myself here I can really notice that's cheating on a 2d tree so that's why I always put them in the distance and yeah I think that's all for today it's not really complicated and I think it's a really good looking scene and yeah hope you liked uh, this quick tutorial bye